So this is another chestnut, but uh, in this case, this is sweet chestnut. And sweet chestnut, again, like horse chestnut, is not native, but it's naturalized. It's been around a long time, probably allegedly brought into the UK by the Romans who uh, knew a thing or two, but they knew a little bit about chestnut, that's for sure. So sweet chestnut is botanically completely different from horse chestnut. Don't confuse the two as members of the same family. They are completely different. They're com different physically, different uh, botanically, and different uh, functionally away, uh, as well in terms of their uh, timber values. So how can we identify sweet chestnut? Sweet chestnut um, tends to have alternate buds, and you can see them quite easily here one on one side, one on the other. So uh, that's something to help, but it's not definitive. Um, something that's quite distinctive about sweet chestnut is, is its leaf shape and size and, and arrangement. Big, strong, bold leaves, spear-shaped leaves with a very, very heavily cut edge, almost like a circular saw profile. That's the way I always try and describe it to people. Big, bold leaves, big hook and gullet and point type shape, a bit like a circular saw. Um, uh, and later on in the autumn, as most of the other leaves are starting to be shed, these will stay on a bit longer and they'll get um, waxy, almost leathery. They'll still have the same shape and profile, but they'll go from green through brown, through golden, through yellow before they're being shed. So it's quite a distinctive leaf to identify, even if it changes colour towards the back end of the year. Um, other ways to identify sweet chestnut, particularly on the young growth, if you look at this year's growth, which has started from just down below where I've cut it here, Put on quite a lot of growth this year and all the current year's growth has a series of ribs that run around the edge of it and you can feel those with your finger and your thumb as you run them around in your hand so these ribs that run along the length of this year's um, new wood this year's new growth basically so sweet chestnut's got some interesting characteristics as a timber species you'll see it grown as a coppice species that means it's cut off close to the ground and allowed to regrow so in the southeast of england in particular there's a lot of sweet chestnut coppice it used to be used for producing fencing materials hop poles long thin poles for all sorts of different uses these days different applications perhaps uh, it's a way of generating large volumes of fuel wood but you'll also see sweet chestnut grown as a, a standard as a single stem tree and it's got a lot of very positive characteristics it's relatively fast growing so you can grow saw logs in 45 to 50 years which is quite quick for a hardwood um, and its timber is naturally durable the heartwood if you can get into the heartwood of the tree saw off the sapwood off the outside um, the heartwood is durable that means you don't have to treat it with chemicals to get it to last when it's in contact with the ground or subject to pressure from the weather so it'll be durable for 30, 40, 50, maybe even 100 years without chemical treatment.